So this is for my notes. This is why I'm doing a video at 1 in the morning on Sir Isaac Newton after a 12 hour day. So the reason why is because I had two confirmations today. And these are things that are outlandish enough where it's noticeable, but I was working my nine hour shift and then I also had to teach for two hours tonight. And um, what happened was I was in my break time, my one hour lunch, and my little girl went to go make something in the microwave and I was, you know, spiritually praying about this video and putting some notes together in my head and finding stuff online about it. And she had broke the little clear tray in the microwave and shards of it went everywhere of course you know it broke all over the floor in a perfect fashion and so she found little pieces of it and she's like oh look these are kind of beautiful and she was like picking them up and that was like okay that's weird because they were breaking apart into like little triangles because that's what shards are and but they were big thick you know because the thick tray the, the plate inside the microwave so they broke and then um I was sitting down and teaching my last student and I was tired and so I had made up my mind at that moment as I was talking to my student I'm going to bed after this and it was like 10 o'clock my kid comes in right when I was thinking that and she said oh I think the refrigerator is broken or the light is out or whatever and she's like I think the fridge is, fridge is broke so I had to mute my student and ask her what's going on I went and looked and it turns out that the fridge is not broken it was the light inside that was broken and so it's 10 30 at night and i was facing the truth of what was going to happen today i have to make the video about the prism and the light that's how it happens it it, it just sometimes it's just very obvious so i just want to go on record with how that confirmation happened all within a few hours of it, of it, each other and I was really planning on doing this tomorrow, but, you know, this is what I was called to do. Plus, I do have this history of studying Sir Isaac Newton a bit more than I probably should have. I do think that when his intelligence kind of ran off, distracted by something, it went into alchemy and finding the Philosopher's Stone. But that's what happens, you know. Um, if you take the tools and the gifts God gives you, and you start studying other things, then all of a sudden you're in the truth or movement, and you're doing, you know, all these other Q Anon stuff, uh, which has a deep end, of course. And so I'm not judging anybody who studied that stuff. I did myself because I do want at the core of it for there to be justice. I want these rings that do exist, okay, and I'm not, and I don't think this is specific, but I want these rings to end. I want the, I want justice, and it's in Christ. So that's why people you know the search and the obsession has a pure place in it but if you don't have an answer for it just like with the CERN obsession I'm so afraid of CERN they say well God doesn't give you a spirit of fear you have everything you need to bind and loosen in Jesus name so pray about it give it to God because nobody's gonna fix it but him you gotta let God's will be on earth as it is in heaven there's nothing happening here that he doesn't know about. And if you take all that worrying and you're sure things are going to go wrong, you're, you're sure things aren't going to go your way, and you just wait for the other shoe to fall, if you use it the other way and say, I'm sure God will come through, and you feel the same way you worry, you're like, I know God's got this. You just reverse it. That's how you grow from a mustard seed into something way bigger. But this is Linda of Christ's King forever. May God be with you.